Okay, so today I'm going to be making a video explaining how to get better at PvP and how to win more gunfights in Red Dead Online, particularly in the showdown modes. Because if you're new to Red Dead Online, especially if you're playing the showdown modes from the start, you're probably going to struggle quite a lot because the aiming and the gun mechanics can be quite clunky in this game if you're not used to it. So if you're playing the showdown modes as a low level player, the chances are you're probably going to get shot dead quite a lot. And you're probably going to be wondering how are these people so accurate with their weapons? Because how many times have you tried to shoot someone in the head only for you to miss your shot and for them to turn around and headshot you instantly and you're left sort of scratching your head thinking how are they getting such quick and accurate shots? But anyway, with that out of the way, let's just get straight into it. So the first tip is to have a good weapon loadout because unlike GTA Online, you can't just carry all your weapons at once. You can only carry a limited amount of weapons. So it's really important that you carry the right weapons for what you're doing. So an ideal weapon loadout would be two handguns, maybe two pistols or two revolvers or maybe a pistol and a revolver, a repeater or a rifle, whatever you prefer using, and a shotgun. Now for me, this is my ideal weapon loadout. I like to use two semi-automatic pistols because I have a really rapid fire rate and you can dual wield them so you can have one in each hand. A Lancaster repeater because it's got a good fire rate and it's accurate, good for headshots. And a pump action shotgun because in my opinion the pump action shotgun is the best shotgun because it's accurate and it's got quite a long range. Now this is just my personal favourite loadout. If you don't feel comfortable using these weapons, then you can use whatever you feel comfortable with. Some people prefer using the bolt action rifle, or maybe a different repeater, or maybe different handguns. Maybe you might want to use a revolver as opposed to pistols, or maybe a volcanic pistol. It's all up to you. Whatever weapon you find it easy to get kills with, go ahead and use that. This is just my personal loadout. You can use whatever weapons you want. As long as you find it easy to get kills, that's all that matters. Okay, so the next piece of advice is to make sure your cores are not low like mine are. As you can see, just above the map, all of my cores are red and they're almost completely drained. And when this happens, this really does affect your performance. For example, if your health core is really low, then your health might not regenerate as quick. And more importantly, your dead eye core, because that's one of the most important things in PvP. And if the core's low, then the dead eye is probably going to drain much faster than it would usually. So make sure you purchase plenty of provisions and tonics to keep your cores topped up all the time. That way you'll be performing at your best. Okay, so the next thing you should do is make sure that all your weapons are fully customised. Because although it seems like I'm just stating the obvious, a lot of people probably don't customise their weapons. They just buy it and they sort of don't really invest the time to earn money to customise it. Just make sure that all the performance enhancements are added. You don't really have to worry about style, like adding gold plating or stuff. That just makes it look better. But make sure that the performance of the weapon is customised to its maximum ability. Like add better rifling, add a scope maybe, iron sights, that sort of thing. Because then obviously your weapon's going to perform better and it's going to make it easier for you to get kills. Okay, so now we're going to move on to how the shooting mechanics in this game actually work. As you can see, when I aim, there's a dot where the bullet's going to go, and then there's this small circle that sort of encloses around the dot. Basically, how it works is when that circle is not enclosed around the dot, as you can see now, it's not enclosed, the bullet will go anywhere within that circle, and it won't necessarily go where the dot is. And that's probably one of the reasons why you're missing your shots, because you think the bullet is going to go exactly where the dot is, but you're not waiting for the circle around the dot to enclose, meaning the bullet's going to go anywhere within that circle. And that's probably the main reason why your shots are not accurate. So what you do when you're about to shoot someone, you stand completely still, and that's when the circle will enclose around the dot. That way your bullet will go exactly where the dot is. And this brings me on to my next point, which is always go for headshots when you can. I know this seems blatantly obvious, but I thought I'd bring it up anyway. So this is what you do. You aim at someone, you flick up so you're pointing roughly at the head, wait for the circle to enclose around the dot, and then fire, and you should get a headshot. So again, aim, flick up, wait for the circle to enclose, and then headshot. Now, what I just taught you there is how to get headshots, but the big problem is, is you're not using dead eye. So even if you use this method, because you're not using dead eye, you're going to be putting yourself at a disadvantage because you have to wait for about a second or two for the circle to close around the dot before you can get a headshot. And as you can see, it puts you at a big disadvantage because other people can just headshot you really quickly because they'll all be using dead eye. I'd say about 90% of people use dead eye. So if you're not using dead eye, you're putting yourself at a massive disadvantage. Okay, so how does Dead Eye work? Basically, what Dead Eye does is when you activate it, it removes the little circle from around the dot, meaning that when you fire, the bullet will go exactly where the dot is, making your shot much more accurate. 
So during gunfights, Deadeye is an essential thing and you should use it all the time because I can say that during all my gunfights in the showdown modes, I always use Deadeye. I hardly ever kill anyone without Deadeye because it just makes your shots so much more accurate and it makes you much more likely to get kills. And also, you'll find that most other people are using Deadeye as well. So if you're not using Deadeye, you're automatically putting yourself at a disadvantage. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to talk about is ability cards. And basically, these allow you to have certain abilities in terms of shooting, combat, taking less damage, and that sort of thing. But the most important one for combat is called Paint It Black. And what this does, it basically allows you to place markers on targets when you're aiming at them and dead eye is activated so if you aim at a target and you aim at the head the painted black will automatically place a marker on their head and then all you need to do is pull the trigger and the bullet will go exactly where the marker is it's a really good way to get headshots and everyone uses it if you check people's ability loadouts you'll see that most players especially high level players they all have this ability card it's definitely a must have Okay, so now we're going to go through the optimal settings you should have. So first of all, go to controls and make sure both your targeting mode on foot and on horse is set to wide. And also, I like to turn up all my sensitivities, things like look sensitivity, aim sensitivity. And the only one that I've got turned all the way down is called aim look dead zone, because if you've got that turned all the way down, it means that you can turn around much faster with a gun equipped. So make sure that's turned down and all the others are turned up. And here's another tip, make sure to have plenty of dead eye tonics because for some reason dead eye drains ridiculously fast so make sure to have at least five in your inventory. You might go through quite a lot during a deathmatch. Okay so here's some footage of me playing a deathmatch. So now I'm going to try to show you the tactics I use and how to easily get kills. So first of all take a dead eye tonic so your dead eye is completely topped up. And remember I said use the correct gun depending on what range your enemy's at. So right now there's going to be enemies right outside. So I'm thinking of using the shotgun. There's an enemy right here. So use the shotgun and he's down. And now quickly get in cover because there's going to be more enemies. So just use the right weapon depending on how far away your enemy is. So if your enemy is sort of close range then obviously use a shotgun. Like this enemy here for example close range as you can see a shotgun works perfectly. And you don't even need to aim for the head. Okay, so again, we've got an enemy at close range, so get your shotgun ready, and then shoot them. And notice how I'm using Deadeye for each shot, because if you're not using Deadeye, the chances are your shots are not going to be that accurate, and it's going to take way more shots to kill them, so always use Deadeye. Now, remember at the beginning of the video, I said that I like to use two semi-automatic pistols. The reason is, is because they have such a rapid fire rate, and... If you dual wield them, it's like a makeshift machine gun. Look how fast I can take this enemy down. They didn't even know what hit them. It's just you fire and it's such a rapid fire rate. Even if you don't go for the head, it finishes them off very quickly. So if you're not very good at getting headshots, two semi-automatic pistols are definitely a good choice of weapons. Okay, so here's an example of what could happen if you don't use the correct gun depending on the range of your enemy. Here, I thought I had a shotgun, but I was actually using a repeater. And notice how his enemy killed me because I was shooting him with a repeater instead of a shotgun. If I had a shotgun out, I would have killed them instantly. But because I wasn't using a shotgun and they were too close, they got the kill. So remember, always use the correct gun depending on the range of your enemy. Okay, so to get accurate headshots, it's just a matter of practice. What you do is you aim at the enemy, flick up so you're pointing at the head, activate dead eye, and then shoot. Okay, so here's some footage of me getting a headshot. I've slowed the footage right down so you can see exactly what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So watch closely. And again, here's another clip. And here's another clip, even slower this time. And even if you miss your first shot, just keep shooting at the head and eventually your painted black will mark a target on the head and all you need to do is pull the trigger and that's where the bullet will go. My biggest mistake when shooting people was firing at the head once with dead eye and then trying again by reactivating dead eye. That's not how you should do it. You should, re you should activate dead eye and keep shooting while dead eye is active and eventually your painted black will mark a target on the head like this. So watch what happens. I miss, I miss again and then my painted black marks a target on the head. I pull the trigger and that's exactly where the bullet goes and I get a headshot. And again, same with this person. I missed the first shot but then my painted black marks a target on the head and I headshot them. So there we have it, that's how to get headshots. So just to clarify, you aim at the target, flick up so you're pointing at the head, activate dead eye, and then shoot. And if you miss, keep shooting at the head, and eventually your painted black will mark a target on their head, and that's where your bullet will go. 
But anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you found this guide helpful. If you did, then feel free to drop a like. And if you're new to my channel and enjoy my content, consider subscribing and I will see you next time.